Welcome back to Ohio Country Today. With me is Amanda Lifton. And uh, here we're here in rural Auglaise County and to talk about Amanda's uh, latest project. But Amanda, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I went to Wapak for high school and um, after graduation I went to Ohio State and um, got a degree in agriculture. Um, pursued um, animal science, got into a little bit of the meat science and so on. Um, and then through 4-H when I was growing up, got into the beef cattle, and from there I've expanded to um, show cattle, and then as a byproduct of my show cattle, I have freezer beef, and from the freezer beef, we expanded into just selling individual roasts, steaks, and um, hamburger, and kind of customize the product to meet the customer's needs. Well, and that's, that's what we're here to talk about is Sheeta Creek Steaks, and tell us how uh, you got the idea and, and, and you know, what brought on this entrepreneurial spirit? Um, last September, we went to a um, conference in Columbus held by Laurel Langmire called Three Days to Cash. Um, she's got this community called Live Out Loud, and her goal is to take everyday people, find the three to five things that they're good at, and turn them into millionaires in three to five years. So that's kind of the way the whole thing started. The one person there suggested that we specialize in selling roasts and steaks and hamburgers and just kind of took off from that. Amanda, how did you get the idea to uh, to attend this uh, uh, workshop that you attended? Uh, actually, my mom drug me to it, kicking and screaming. But um, mom had been a part of the community for a couple years, and a lot of the workshops are on the East Coast and the West Coast, and this one finally came to Ohio, and um, she took me there, and from there I kind of got the bug and the entrepreneurial spirit and the, the yes energy, as Laurel would call it, and have decided to start my own company and um, see what kind of a future I can make for myself. Uh, when, when they were doing this, uh, this workshop, uh, it wasn't necessarily strictly uh, uh, dealing with people selling cattle. It was people from all walks of life. Yeah, um, nobody basically was into agriculture. Actually, Laurel is from Nebraska, and her brother raises club lambs and stuff like that, but she was the only agriculture person there um, besides my mother and I. And um, everybody's just kind of amazed and at the at the things that I do and stuff and it's kind of just no big deal to me because it's a part of my everyday life and something that I do so it kind of amazes me that everybody else is amazed at the things that I do. <laughs> well you know you talked about uh, uh, 4-H and, and your background and raising club calves and and uh, you know you, you actually have a whole herd of, uh, of uh, a cow calf operation here. Yeah I've got about 30 cows and then um, we'll calve those cows out in January, February, and March. And I'll hopefully get some guys in here to look at some good steers, and they'll buy some steers from me. And I'll send some to the fat lot that we've got down the road. And then there's others that I'll keep as bulls and maybe some heifers that we'll take to, like, the Ohio Michi and the Michigan Beef Expo and sell there. You know, one thing that is very unique about Pashita Creek steaks uh, is, is uh, how you're labeling them and how the animals are fed. Um, yeah, I'm selling everything as antibiotic and hormone free. Um, you know, I do treat stuff if it gets sick, but other than that, they don't get any antibiotics or hormones in their feed. They get um, hay. They don't not necessarily go out on grass or anything, but they get they come out of the barn and they go roam around in their lot and stuff like that. Everybody thinks that if it's not grass fed, that it's confined in a small area to where they can't get out and exercise, and that's not true. Over the over the last few years, we've had you know issues with the uh, uh, you know make sure that the uh, agricultural animals are are treated humanely, uh, and uh, you know with the product you're 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 raising here, uh, you're you're fitting that bill. Um yeah, I want to raise a safe, healthy product for everybody. Um, it doesn't do me any good to abuse my animals, and it doesn't do the consumer any good. So um, I want to provide my consumer with the best product that I possibly can. And the other thing is you're providing a product that the consumer wants. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm trying to specialize just a little bit and seek a target market that is, um, you know, ana people that are wanting a product that's healthy, safe, that's antibiotic and hormone free, that still tastes good, if not better than some of the stuff that they're buying for a little bit less money in the supermarkets. Well, Amanda, uh, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Amanda, if somebody wanted to find out more information, how can they get a hold of you? Um, they can either contact me on my cell phone, and that's 419-303-3316, or they can go to the website. It's PashitaCreekStakes.com.